Definitely. Well, t I mean, overall, tell us about your day. I mean, it's a pretty good day. Yeah, it was a pretty good day. First, I did them 100 hurdles and IPR, and I took first. Yesterday, I did the long jump, and it was a little bit bad, but I took second. I didn't PR there. And then in the triple jump, IPR, and I took first. Tell us about the hurdle race. What was going through your mind there? Oh, it was really hard because a girl next to me was... It, sorry. It was next to me, and she almost beat me, but I took all my strength, and I beat her. And your thoughts about the jumping event today? Um, I wasn't nervous. I knew that... I was gonna jump good. I trained a lot that event, so I was calm and I did the best. What's your background in track? How'd you get started? Mm, I started because of uh, my best friend. She was in track and field, and I copied her. So I just started doing track and field when I was five years old. You surprised at your success this year? Mm, yes, <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> When, uh, when you beat the state record in, in your prelim, when they told you that, what was your first reaction when you found out? I was really surprised because someone told me that it was 40, and they told me that, no, that it was 39-1, I think. So I was really happy. So you, um, so I heard you are uh, Change, yeah. Spanish change. So, um, you know, how did, how did it all come about coming to the United States from Spain? So I went to do college here, I had to like to have a scholarship for track and field and I didn't know a lot of English so my parents and I decided to go to come this year as a state student one year.